Da, 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 da. Hob news! Different year, same joke. Uh, slow gin, six what? luxury slow gin mince pies. Oh, uh, we can't give those out because they've got alcohol in. No, but I can. Uh, I can. But yeah, Will, you can have those. Thank Welcome, you very much Will. For my Christmas present. Thank you, Jack. We are back. For 2020. 2020? Will, welcome to the future. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. 2020. Gosh. Mm. I've about... known for about, since about 2015, was... I've known exactly what's going to happen this year because I had 2020 vision. <laughs> That's not the first Moving one. on. <laughs> we want to say, as our first video back, yes. just a huge thank you to all the stuff that happened in December. It was absolutely massive. Yeah, just a bit, just a massive thank you for everybody who came in. And even though all that stuff came in, um, it still just helps us get to where we are. We don't have a gluttony of money anywhere. It just helps us achieve what we wanted well, to achieve last yeah, year. Yeah. It's kept the lights on, as Will would say. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping us. We're in our 10th year now, so you have helped us for 10 of those. You kept us going for all that time, so please don't stop. We've got so much more to talk to you about, and that's what we're gonna use this video yeah. to talk to you about, really. What's gonna happen the next year? So, Will, we've got a couple of big things happening. One's the charity dinner at the yes. end of the year. Yes, 9th of October, we've even got the date. 9th of October, the Moat House, um, and we are increasing the, the capacity, so we're looking for about 130 people. Uh, it will be a major, major event to um, fundraise and celebrate 10 years of House of Bread. Because um, we start basically in October, October. <laughs> was when we kind of start, yeah. end of September, beginning of October, yeah. 10 years ago is when we started. Um, so we're doing, we're doing that at the Motel, so that's fantastic. And we're also uh, having a church celebration, probably at St Mary's, which is where we originally started. The very first one. Back in yeah. the day at St Mary's Muse. Um, so lots and lots of big events, some very, very significant events. And you'll begin to see that um, under the hashtag, is it, what are we calling it, Hob 10 Years? Yes, we've yes. tried to come up with, we couldn't think of anything that roll off the tongue, so Hob 10 <laughs> Years on the lid. Is, what we're, uh, yeah, yeah. is what we're calling it. Um, so if you see that, click on it, uh, if you're on Twitter and you can see everything else that's happened in that. We've also got um, Trinity Cafe once a month once except a month August. The, yeah, it's throughout the year, which is fantastic, and that's really gone well. We've got a team that gets involved in that, pairs you feel, the famous Hob Cook Breakfast. It's yeah. really, really ramped up and it's really exciting and people look forward to it yep yep people really really do so that's yeah trinity cafe once a month we'll shout at you about the details in these videos so keep in touch with First that we've got bistro of january i Ooh, think he's gone for a date we're not sure we'll, we'll tell you that sooner we've uh, we've got um bistro nights yes. again we'll definitely have comedy nights yes, again you, um some music nights maybe there's a fundraising group that we've started yes. that's going to do lots of little events so we've got a really exciting year planned and it's all to help us achieve this step up. We're looking to um, perhaps open Cafe 43 for, for another day. day. Yeah. Um, that's which an exclusive. Sounds, which sounds quite easy, but if you think about making that sustainable, that requires us um, to have committed volunteers, volunteers. Which, which is fantastic. A lot have come in on because the back of Christmas. Because obviously we already have stuff to do on a Monday, yeah. so opening the cafe pulls us away from yeah. that stuff so we need volunteers so we can carry on with our normal jobs. A huge increase in connections with local businesses who, who want to help in lots of different ways so we'll talk about some of the ways that they're helping to give you some idea of what you can do to engage. We've seen a significant increase in our surplus food which means we can look at that provision of that extra day um, and we are busier. We mm. are busier there are than, more and more people to help. Yeah, so and that we need is to gear up for that. That is across the whole board, as yeah. we always say. If you check out the winter campaign, you'll understand who's coming uh, to help, um, who we're offering the help to. So that is people who are homeless. That is people who are vulnerable, and that yeah. vulnerable covers a vast array of people. I would recommend going and watching the winter campaign especially at this time of year, all the different people we help and how yeah. we help them. But yeah, we've just got so much lined up for this year because last year was so amazing. Basically what we did last year, which was pushing the envelope, yeah. that's now the norm. So we want to push yes. the envelope again. So please do come on this journey with us. Get involved. If you've got a spare bit of money that you found down the back of the sofa, please chuck it our way. It literally changes lives. That money, it doesn't 
go into a big vat and never sees the light of day. Our, we are a very small charity and it's all about cash yeah. flow, so that money is if really, want, really important. Yeah, if you want some guidance on what we're looking for, then make contact, um, because that's what a lot of people did before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And it was great, because we wanted to say, you know, this is a particular need. I spoke to, the, uh, to Louis, who's in the kitchen, who's normally frying sausages over there for Trinity Cafe. Um, and it means that we can target the gift that you've got in a very powerful way. Well, if you, which is if, really if you watch these videos a lot, you will have seen new stuff going yes, in behind us. Um, and you can see there's Salamander a salamander grill. grill and a posh toaster. We don't expect everybody to um, give the same amount. You yeah. know, whatever you give is fantastic. But this gentleman came in and said, what do you need? And, we, and Louis said, I need this and this. And he went out and got yeah. it, brand new stuff. So absolutely fantastic. Whatever you can offer, it truly will make a difference. That is it for this week. Not much news, apart from the fact that we are stepping up this year. We're really ramping it up. And yeah, it's going to be great. So please jump on board. Although Will says he's got a little bit of news. Yeah, well, I've I've got some uh, some help as well. So I've got somebody, Hanako, who you might get some emails from, um, who's going to come alongside us and help uh, as we ramp up the work that we do. There is uh, there is more paperwork and meetings and things like that. So she's going to help us with that. Hanako is having to take on all the paperwork <laughs> and the emails, not the fun stuff. Um, <laughs> hopefully exactly. she finds it fun. Right. Thank you very much, Will, for joining me. I shall enjoy my mince pies and slow gin. Mm, yes. Right. Thank you very much as ever for watching. Thank you for watching over the past year. It's been yeah. fantastic. This video is going far and wide and so many people are coming in and going, yeah. oh, watch your video. So thank you very much. We will see you next time. Don't forget to check out the winter campaign videos. They're starting again on Wednesdays at six o'clock. So please catch up with them. We will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching once more. Goodbye. Thank you, Jay. Without, yeah. Without, yeah. Without, yeah. Without, yeah.